heal up pretty well. He now has both a mana potion and a um, healing potion going. And afterwards he will be full health again and probably almost full mana. And Jarvan is about half life. And I didn't see the mana bar or didn't notice the mana bar. Probably saw it as it was right underneath the health bar. So, all in all, he is probably getting a lot more gold than the Jarvan is. And I wonder if there's anyone who has a higher minion kill score. Because I cannot imagine that anyone else is staying in, in the lane so consistently and getting all of these last hits. So, in the last, uh, the last time he popped up the um yeah what's what's the screen called i don't know the tap screen where you have all the champions and the minion kills and things like that yeah he's now at 114 and um i think the next best on his team is 76 don't know who that uh, that's irelia and the best on the enemy team is ash at 128 so Actually, Ash is doing better than he is, but <laughs> that's probably because, well, they haven't been harassed at all or something. Well, he hasn't been harassed either, so. You know, Warwick has come by once, but he didn't actually do anything, so. Not actually sure why. Probably just missed some, and Ash is just doing a little bit better. So, apparently, according to the chats, I really are supposed to win the lane when going up against Ash. Something I didn't expect. Of course you have the Q with Irelia, which is excellent for farming minions, especially since it has no cooldown. But it's all about harassment normally when you want to win a lane. And... Um, yeah, Ash really can do the long range thing and then I really I can do nothing about it. So I wonder if the lifesteal from Irelia is enough normally to cancel out all of the rest. So Nuno coming in to gank, but there's not a whole lot he can do. He can ice blast and that's about it. And of course we see Soraka coming in doing well, nothing. <laughs> Probably just here to uh, heal up the... Uh, I forgot his name. Oh my god. Jarvan. And um, yeah, after he's done healing him up and giving him some extra mana, it's probably going back base or some other lane. Because Serakas normally don't stay in lane. I... yeah. I guess most people who saw my last few Suraka games with me playing actually saw that I never leave the lane unless uh, something huge happens. But um, normally I wouldn't leave the lane because people uh, tend to, yeah people tend to do very bad if the healer is in the lane and then all of a sudden he's not. They tend to get killed. <laughs> Because they they expect you to still be there and don't notice that you're not. I I don't know. It's something psychological that if there's a healer in the in the lane, they uh, just go crazy on the aggressiveness, and that's something you shouldn't do. The healing is kind of a bonus effect. You get to stay in the lane longer because you have a healer in your lane just because he's there doesn't mean that you should then be very aggressive because well you're going to get healed anyway but as I said in my uh, my last uh, Soraka game uh, I like about Soraka that it actually cancels out the mistakes people make in lane so your team or your teammates are going to make a lot of mistakes well I make a lot of mistakes but with Soraka they kind of disappear because you can heal people after they overextend and you can give them extra mana if they use their skills to kill minions instead of 
harass champions. And you can uh, silence the opponents if they try to get aggressive on someone who overextended. So Soraka all in all just for it makes you able to get some forgiveness for the your teammates mistakes. And because you cancel out their mistakes, they're actually going to do better and therefore your whole team is going to do better. Even though you're missing some of the damage of course because Soraka really has terrible damage. But yeah, well, I guess everybody knows that. So Swain is uh, pretty good against uh, Ash it seems, but not good enough to actually keep her from uh, from farming or from damaging the turret. And eventually he will have to go back because Ash can harass pretty well and is going to do some extra harassment here. And yeah, Ash seems to be able to. Uh, to get all of the minions. So again, I really are being uh, killed by Warwick. And they got one turret, or oh, bottom turret. So bottom turret is down now. And we will have to see what. Um, the strategy is to actually come back from this because they are behind by now. Even though uh, Swain pretty convincingly uh, took the lane up top, uh, the Jarvan is now up to 125 minion kills. Ash has something like 150. So actually, Jarvan is not that far behind. And um, yeah, well, bottom lane is now filled with three champions, top lane has zero champions, and Nunu is still jungling. So, all in all, it seems okay. So they are going to try to push the bottom lane to get a turret back, I guess. And uh, yeah, this he's not going to get the ash when Soraka is there. Because Soraka is just way too powerful in this situation. So his team is uh, coming to back him up, but yeah, well, as you can see, the enemy team did exactly the same thing, and they're just not ready for a team fight yet. Okay, getting the. Uh, what did I call it? Oh, come on. The tenacity item from uh, the. Philosopher's Stone. It does mean that you lose the ability of 5 gold per 10 seconds, which is kind of a shame because the extra gold is really useful. So they lose another turret, and it's looking more and more like they're not going to win this game. But not all is lost. We've seen enough of the comebacks in these kind of, uh, well, these kind of setbacks that we can safely assume that they still have a chance. I cannot actually see the kill counts, but it's 5 to something. 5 to 7, I want to say. Yeah, I really cannot tell. My screen is not uh, good enough to actually see that. But that's okay. Yeah, the quality of the stream is always a little bit uh, worse than uh, I would like them. That's why I uh, like the replay system. The replay system I can actually uh, put to the maximum of my uh, my video card, which is a lot better than my screen. Because <laughs> my video card is actually, well, about two months, three months old. And um, my monitor is actually something like three years old. So as you can see, it's four against one, and then yeah, there is not a whole lot you can do. So and then two of his teammates come in to uh, to try to 
defend the lane, but there's not a whole lot I can do against 4 and now 5. So they're going to lose another turret here, and after that probably another one. Because there are still minions in the lane, as long as there are enemy minions in the lane, the enemy team is going to push. So that's where your focus should lie. And that's exactly what Nunu is trying to do. He was trying to uh, get rid of the minions, not damage the champion so much. Of course, it's nice to have that as well. But he was trying to get rid of the minions so that they could actually, uh, well, just get rid of the champions. Because then the turret will fire on the champions and, uh, yeah, you will save your turret. So, this game is now pretty much over. I think there were six kills for one. And, yeah, there's nothing I can do about it. It's now six to something like thirteen. I don't know, could be eleven as well. Oh, thirteen. Here I can actually read it, I think. And uh, Ash is, uh, or seems to be, at 8 and 2. No, that can't be right. Yeah, no, no, no. That can't be right. But Ash has a uh, pretty decent score, at least. <laughs> so it seems that the team just isn't playing well together. Um, because, well, we haven't even gotten into the team fight stage yet and they already lost three turrets so it might just be a mismatch in the teams but it seems that both teams are pretty well matched the only big difference is that the enemy team has a Soraka and um, w yeah well Soraka makes all the difference if she's played right because well as you saw if she's uh, she's roaming, then she can heal up champions in all lanes, and um, yeah, that's pretty significant. Of course, singed is also a big deal in these kind of uh, teams, because singed is not only tanky; he's also very annoying to deal with because he can throw you in t in the middle of the enemy team, uh, and with his speed he has no trouble catching up with you and then throw you into the his uh, his team and put you in the middle of of course his uh, his toxic cloud so you have some poison on your hands as well and all in all it's really hard to stay alive against him against the team with him so we see a lot of uh, attempted harass going off from the green team or blue, whatever you prefer, but the enemy team, yeah, the enemy team really isn't going to be faced by anything. So that's already the game, they uh, surrender at this point, and um, that's it. So I hope you enjoyed, it was a pretty quick game. We saw that, um, well, the carries on the enemy team were well fed, and their carries just failed hard. So all in all, they didn't play too well, but yeah, well, you cannot win them all. So I hope you enjoyed, I'll see you next time, don't forget to rate the video, GG.